Oh, 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 got trouble getting into three, guys. Joey Logano. Big crash. Oh, he's all oh, tied oh. down. Over and over, Logano goes between three and four. Oh, no. The car will come back to rest on all four tires. Heavy, heavy crash here on lap 32. See Robbie Gordon, Martin Truex, Reed Sorensen involved in this. I looked up, saw the 20 car on the apron getting into the corner. See the crew here, they're trying to see the replay. Now the window net is down. That's the drivers are told in the driver's meeting that if you are awake and alert, put that window net down so we know, the safety crews will know. There's the window net down on Robbie Gordon's car. This is the moment we talked about in the pre-race show, guys, uh, that this stuff could happen in a hurry here, even at Dover. And especially after on a restart when all the cars are, are bunched together. It's good to see here that uh, the window net came down, that 20 car. We're a little obscured from how that car got so low on the back straightaway. And I saw it just could barely see the roof of the car. Yeah, I looked up and he was way down on the apron, uh, actually entering the corner, way before the entry. There's a great sign right there. Joey Logano coming out of the car. That's a scary looking crash right there. Young man had had so much success at this racetrack, really got his name out there when he won a Camping World East race here for NASCAR, won a championship here, made his first nationwide start earlier in the year, becoming the youngest winner in NASCAR Sprint Cup history. There's Robbie Gordon out of his car. We'll get a record to take it back to the garage area. The cars have been stopped on the back straightaway because of the amount of debris. They didn't want them running through this. The heavy damage on Martin Truex's car. Let's show you how this all unfolded here on the restart, going down the back straightaway. Really just kind of a stack-up effect. Like was one of them got on the brakes and it's kind of forced. Yeah, look at Tony Stewart just missing this crash. Man, here's where it really gets gets exciting. Man, we talked about that there's nowhere to go as you come off of these corners, and when something like this happens, you, you really have, you make a commitment, and you've got one opportunity really to miss this wreck. Tony Stewart did a great job. Some others got caught up in. Let's drive along with Tony Stewart here. See it develop right in front of him. He actually got into the back of the 20 as he checked up. You know it's going to be bad right here when he comes up in front of traffic. Reed Sorensen makes the impact. Scott Speed got a piece of it also. The car is actually going backwards when it starts to lift up and go over and begin to tumble. Yeah, it's just being pushed, and, and as he kind of dug in a little bit and, and it was uh, continued to get pushed there, that's what got it up and rolling. And you hear what you were talking about, how high the banks are here, and you see he's just tumbling down that bank. There's so much height difference right there from the top of the bank down to the apron. Three stories, the difference between the top and the bottom, 24 degree banks. Just side over side over side, a violent impact. And the good news that the, this new car that NASCAR brought on about three years ago, and the driver able to walk away uh, and walk into the ambulance. A violent crash here on lap 31 taking out four cars at Dover, Delaware.